Hi and welcome. Now in this video, I just want to show you my workflow. How do I uh, clean up uh, my composition? So once the composition is made and I have the, the basic uh, composition uh, and I have already selected the sounds, I start to clean up really the individual tracks so that the, the final composition can be as clean as possible. For uh, this reason, what I am using uh, generally, and I try to really simplify uh, the things, is really EQing and playing a bit, a bit uh, of, of uh, panning and, um, and with the transients. That's all. So here I, I have a composition. I will show you just a, a little is extract of what the, the music is all about. So it's an electronic track, electronic music. And um, let's see how can we really uh, clean. I, I already started a little bit to clean uh, the channels, but I still find the composition not that clean, not that proper as I would love to have it. So this is the the composition. So this is the refrain of the composition. So now let's head to the to the drums. Let me just do some things. this is a drum track it's uh i made it with the uh, so i use this uh software as it's very intuitive very simple you know to to create rhythm it has already a lot of rhythm for for this composition for example i used it um one of the proposed uh, rhythm maybe i have changed the uh, the drum set but the rhythm i i just uh, left it as it was so why I love this uh, this software one because I have all the drum samples that that I need or that I have and it's very intuitive I can really very simply just change if I do not like for example a kick a, a clap a snare a hi-hat or whatever so this is why I really love it so let's start with the cleaning up the drums So, I can already feel that the kick is a little bit too big, has way too much uh, low frequencies that maybe I do not need them. Now, when I do the cleanup and when I'm, when I'm doing uh, uh, the cleanup of the composition, I, I, I know already for what this composition will be used, where this composition will be listened. This composition is not made really for for an artist. It's not made for people to listen in high speaker and big speakers like in clubs uh, and so on and so forth or concerts. So majority of the people, because this is some kind of um, of commercial uh, music instrumental, um, majority of the people, or it will be used, people will listen in, I don't know, in TV sets, uh, uh, smartphones, or um, television, uh, or in, in the car, and so that's, that's the main target. So really, uh, for me, it is important that those, that the composition uh, transcripts or it it will um, it will be uh, nice to to listen to hear in any of those conditions like uh, for example as I told you television TV sets uh, smartphones uh, tablets what whatnot so this rhythm for instance i mean i am on this uh, headphone and i can hear really it goes down until uh, to 20 uh, hertz but 
the majority of the speakers will not go even until 30 hertz so in the the, the baseline that i am hearing maybe if you are listening on a smartphone i don't know where you are watching this yeah you are not hearing it but anyway and the idea is that i have to clean it so um what is nice with this one you go into the edit mode of xo and then you have all the options to um, to change to eq already uh, the sam uh, the samples separately for example you see you have i have this click and i already i can cut because i didn't cut it so you see it is at 20 hertz so definitely i will put it on 31 maybe yeah easily 31 and then here the up information i mean i can and depends here i can so i like it like this okay then we have the second one so this one right I don't need the bass I just need the, the sound so it's perfect here here I can even cut a little bit more I can see even 42 okay I, I, I see that I, I have started already to clean up it's it's enough okay and here is a problem you see this this is really a base a sub base so I really have to see I, I can still hear even though I changed it I mean it was at I don't know 20 but I put at 42 62 and and I can I can still hear so in this case I will leave it there okay so this is the snare and here I don't have anything Okay, now let's listen in the composition. I, I feel the need to... Uh, let's see this one. No. Let's listen in the composition. So now that 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 depends on how you want what do you want with this track uh, and that's why I'm listening I'm lowering the volume then I started to up just small bits 
to figure it out where I want that um, that snare, for example, to 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 fit in the composition. Yes. with me now what do we have here okay so now for example if I do not like because sometimes even if you are cleaning up and it still doesn't cut through maybe there's a problem of composition but that can be a problem with the transient of that that track so what you can use any software that that really um, can shape the transients of that of that track. What I will use in this uh, moment will be a transient master for native instruments. Very simple software, and this one is really um, playing with the transients. So, for example, let's just listen. So this is the attack attack of really of making it more punchy cut through or you can cut cut it down or really highlight it and then the sustain is really placing it's 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 working in a kind of way that it will place uh, the the drums and it won't make it more open so more sterile if we, if i'm turning up if i'm turning down then it will uh, go to mono and then orient in the, in the middle if I'm uh, with the transient here if I'm pulling it more on the plus side it will it will go widen but it will lose that punch of the that, that the mono signal it, it is giving us so let's just listen that's the best way you can you can really understand what is doing by listening so I put just the drums, right? Now I go with the attack. So I will push the, the the attack. So you, it, this is really a mono signal, right? Then I can cut back. You see, it's really softening the track and then the sustain now I will show you the sustain it's like a gate effect and then you can hear it if you have headphones you can really hear it how it's really back and the from from this simple mono signal now it's uh, a really wide horizontal one i mean it can be interesting i mean you can you can make for example a layer a layer uh, so you can you can layer the, the the drum track and on one take out the um, the kick and leave it just the heights and the snare and claps whatever and push pull, pull, push it uh, with the with the sustain and with, in the other one you leave it uh, we will even uh, do that just for fun but for now i want to show you how this um, can affect the drums in a composition so without Now I will push uh, the attack, attack. Oh, I didn't uh, start it. Listen. You can hear. 
hear the kick, how it's cutting through the mix. It's too much of, of course, but I just wanted to exaggerate. And now I go into the sustain, as I told you, it will really wide and the drum uh, track. Can be really a less solution if your tracks uh, are your drum track is just not cutting through the mix but you did all the other stuff well meaning that um, there's no conflict between uh, drums and um, and bass line then and you still do not arrive to to hear well your your drums so Playing with the transient could be a really good solution uh, to that. Now I told you that uh, just for fun, let's make a second, so second drum, and this one, the second one. I told you that the second one. I will take out the kick right I want to this one also Okay, so now this one can push really with the transient. So I will. Maybe not that much, but. We, are, we, are, we will uh, exaggerate a little bit. And then the other one. This one. Now, let's see the two together. you see how how we can play with transients how we can do stuff really to clean to have uh, um, drums that 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 will really work well in the composition so there's a lot of ways that we can shape it but uh, as I told you at the beginning the most important thing in my opinion of course and I didn't show you but uh, in in the EQ of the track I didn't do much what I do generally I really cut out the low frequencies that are, that are not serving a good deal so here I cut I did a cut at 30 Hertz and then at, at, the, at the high uh, I, I did it at, uh, at uh, 17 and then just a little bit the middle because it was it wasn't uh, important for the drums and then I did a little bit of cut back uh, at uh, 151 because I 
here it a little bit muddy but that that was all but you see shaping it cleaning it up uh, like EQing uh, correctly and then playing a little bit with the transient it's more than enough uh, for a track for a uh, for a track a drum track but even a um, a synth an instrument track uh, can be cleaned up the way that it can really um, uh, be adva uh, t um, given advantage to the whole composition because uh, right now we just did uh, the drums but uh, doing it the same thing uh, with the other instruments it can really 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 um, help the the composition <laughs> I really love it. I mean, I I didn't thought, but you know, this is when when you are doing something, and then you just start to to loving it. So I think I will I will <laughs> leave it uh, the second the layer one also in the composition, and I will leave it just like this. I just like how it gives a dimension so you see it's two tracks but i really feel that it's it's working quite nice and yeah so this is what i wanted to um show you in in this episode i just wanted to show you how what is my workflow how i'm cleaning shaping out uh, tracks so what i'm using because i'm trying right now to be uh, minimalistic so i'm not i don't want to uh, get overwhelmed with a lot of um, a lot of tools uh, using many 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 things because I will talk to you if you want uh, later about composition, what is the most important thing. I mean, there are just some kind of things that that has to be there already at the base of the composition that you cannot um, create or or make out of, of plugins. So it, it's good to have a composition that sounds okay already without too many plugins. So I hope you have enjoyed this. Try it out if you didn't. Try just simplify things as I as I told you. Like for example, use uh, only EQ and play a little bit with transients, and see if only with with these two tools, with the uh, transient the shaper and an EQ, can you uh, arrive? To, to have a, a good sound because if you have a good sound only with those these two plugins uh, sound shaping uh, uh, plugins then I think your composition will uh, really sound more than okay thank you for watching and definitely see you next time bye <laughs>